Let me, she, mm. since she's got a laundry list of bad things, let me just get one in. She's got all these little ones that are really not worth mentioning, but the one that drives me crazy is I'll take her out to a nice, nice dinner, like a nice evening out, like an anniversary for like a pizza. Yeah, basically when uh, Veronica left, I just uh, had walked into work one day and I said, that's it, I'm not gonna do it. It's like, I'm just gonna have fun. I was making up stuff on resumes, I was going out for jobs that I wasn't qualified. So what happened was I got hired this job um, as a police photographer, basically, you know? I was very interested in that and I went under the name like Gavin St. James, something like that. So all of a sudden it's like, I don't know, I don't even know what an f-stop is on a camera. I mean, I just went in there, I got hired, and it just made me realize if I put my mind to something that I want to do, I can do it. Shortly after Diego was born, you know, one's a little easy. I got back out, did a couple of, um, did a couple commercials. I love these shoes, but I'm sure you don't have them in my size. Well, if you put money on that, you lose. At Shoe Mania, we don't discriminate against petite feet. <laughs> my feet will be very happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Shoe Mania. All styles, all sizes. All right! Since I was a little girl, I knew I was meant meant for the screen and the stage. So yeah, that's been my whole high school, college, major in theater. <laughs> I was... I like that uh, the tire bonanza one, she jumped out of a stack of tires, so it was great. That was great. Yeah. Actually, cool. it was great. Virgil, we got too many girl don't dippity do tires on discount! Don't listen to the brass gouging, kid! We're keeping our prices low so you can avoid a tone! Virgil, you got so many frizzle frazzle tires on sale, they're popping up like prairie dogs! It's fan tire tested! I didn't tire Bonanza. It wasn't quite like that. Tire Bonanza. Yeah, that would be your perspective. <laughs> Listen to this. So we go out to pizza and Jenna's good. I can't believe she's telling you the pizza. Jenna thing. eats pizza the right way, but her mom sits there and embarrasses <laughs> us all with her pizza. She folds it like a big sandwich and she shoves it in her mouth like she's this starving I don't rat. It. How, how's your new lady friend? Her name is um, Laura. Laura, so she's how's good. she doing? She good? Doing? Well, do you know who Karen is? Wait, wait, wait. Um, wait, you wait, know who Karen is. We all knew Karen. We all know who Karen is, Mom. Well, no, 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 no. 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 Yeah. See, this is. Wow. This is Karen. You know, it's so and it, tragic. We... I know it was your choice, but I, I, I don't feel like you made the choice for the right reason. In other words, you don't feel I made the right choice. One of the we is not choosing to drive what? one of the beautiful new cars that we have sitting out there purchased. I, I don't mind it. I drive, I drive my old Beamer. It's eighty nine. I don't want to make the uh, brand new Windstar Bravada unnew. That's all. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you rather have new than unnew? Yeah, I'd rather have new and drive my new. And when that becomes unnew, I'll get a new new to drive new. I'm a folder, okay? There's nothing wrong with there, that. There's three there's of us no here. There's no shame in that. There's three of us here that you eat pizza flat or fold. Of course. So because she's not a starving but, rat. These are fish eyeballs. That's a fish. <laughs> this is a, a bull's pizzle. <laughs> Crazy. Go ahead. <laughs> That's all right. You're enjoying this, aren't you? That's so good. The cow dung is very dry. It's like I don't want to do a sideshow, but if you do something like an urban circus, only of things that people have never seen. I just want to know that you're going to have a good life, Stephen. That's what a mother wants to know. Okay? And right now, I, I'm worried for you. Maybe I, my life right now is a good life to me. I love exploring. I love trying new things. He does, What's wrong you with know. That? He, there's there's he nothing does. wrong with that as long as you can be a self sufficient adult and do that. I don't and ask that's, you for anything. You're living at Grandma's house, hon. Well, I know the difference between new cars and unnew cars. And we have two new cars and one unnew car out there. And you're choosing to drive the unnew car until the new cars become unnew. I just, I don't get that. I, I like it. Makes me happy. Can I be happy? You can be happy, Danny. Sure. I'll tell you what I'll do. If you stop folding your pizza, I will buy you an extra pizza so you don't have to feel like you have to stuff as many folded pizzas in your mouth as you possibly can. <laughs> Because everybody stares and they think that I've got, like, like, slave wife. Really, Grandma's in your corner.
and you've got to try so that I don't wind up looking like a fool for helping you. Can you reach around and grab this knife? <laughs> I, I wouldn't put a knife in your back. I want the best for you, just, just like Mother does. It's not in your back. We're talking to you. We're not talking about you. That's We're a big difference. So I have a guy who's going to light his balls on fire. I have, uh, which Wes is not happy about, I'm going to have the two battling Jews, six foot ten Jews. Buck Norris is really the best person I have right now in terms of like something that would be a grand thing. He's a karate guy, and he claims he can kick down a house. But he wants to go by the name of Fuck Norris, you know? And obviously, I can't do that. What we're going to do first is I want to test him, and we're going to have him kick down a doghouse. I'd like to have like a dwarf basically sitting on my, uh, standing on my stomach with a fishing line. I would like it to be a dwarf. I don't know if that's cliche or not, but dangling from the fishing line will be a live scorpion. I'll breathe the fire, cook the scorpion, and then eat it. I don't really care what Wes says, what Danny says. I'm not going through a nervous breakdown. What if? So, what, what are you looking at? That's another thing I can't stand about him. What? The way he says, what if? What if? What if? That's right. What if? You can stop now. Some guy that he was working with said it that way once, and he thought it was funny. So now every time he says water, he has what to here? say what here. What here? And it was cute, like the first couple of times. But now, you know, after you hear it 10,000 times, it's like annoying. What here? Don't you think? Yeah. What here? Will you stop? I worked with a guy named Lalo what from here? Lebanon or El Salvador what or something here? like that. And and he would say that a lot. And so Danny and Keto and I would do Lalo's voice. What here? What here? What here? You like what there? We dragged him to the Renaissance Fair, but then he had a great time. He had the turkey leg and everything, but you couldn't even get him to go back. No, I know. I couldn't get him to go back. Everybody was totally making fun of him that it was so ridiculous and so hippied out. And so, you know, because of their opinion, he could never go back. That's a problem, too, is he's such a pussy. You know? And heaven forbid, even if he didn't like it, go through with it because you like it. I like, didn't see it for like a two years. I know. I went all the way from fool to head jester in the time between the That's time. That's another and... thing. I'm trying so hard to catch up I'm now fair. because I started off as... Uh, beer, beer wench. wench. <laughs> then I moved to flower wench. That was fun, you know, selling flowers. You know, Mike was just um, a very, very intense, you know, workaholic. Basically, he'd work 12 hour days, six days a week. And he would just focus on work, 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 you know, sell, sell, sell. He would come home from work, barely say hello. He'd grab the um, LA Times and the Thor in Daredevil comics. He would grab his maple walnut ice cream microwave it for 16 seconds, he'd grab an Italian soda with grenadine and a twist of lime, and he would take all this crap and go lay into the bathtub and completely shut me out. Lock the door, and that's how it was for three years. You didn't have a key? I didn't want a key. It was pathetic, it was horrible. And he basically left me for our St. Bernard. How does that make you feel? Like crap. <laughs>